G'day and welcome back for more of Terraformers from Mars with Kabak, TFE. Don't know where Nev is and I don't know where Shadow is. I presume Shadow's staring at a skull and I presume Nev is... I actually don't know where Nev is. Nev, where are you? I'm at a new base. Um, ah, you're staring at pipes. I, yeah, I'm trying to figure <laughs> out where to put the stuff in the airlock right now. Yeah. But there's like a sea of ice cubes in here right now. I see. And Shadow, I, I know you're staring at a skull, but where? You know where. You're in the greenhouse, aren't you? I mean, perhaps. Well, oh, what a throw. Wait, you got it. <laughs> got it in one. Either of you two coming through the airlock? Yep. Uh, yep, just gotta close my helmet up. I'm oh, still, still getting this oxygen supply warning I was getting last time. What? What is the supply warning you're getting? It says, the atmosphere you are breathing is causing damage to your lungs. But I'm not taking any damage. Oh no, you've got permanent damage to your lungs. We need to make oh. pills for us to heal that damage. That damage is not going away. Well, that is not a I warning then. of what is happening now. That is a warning. It's well, state, It's phrased poorly, but you're, you've got lung damage. Get me some cough syrup. No. <laughs> you, need, you need lung repair. You've got emphysema. Yeah, that's what cough syrup is. Um... It greases it all up so it all works smoothly. I know my scientism. Anyway. Shadow, how close do you think you are to having a, uh, a functional greenhouse setup that we could duplicate at the new base? Because you were working uh, on a whole bunch of automation stuff. Yeah, everything theoretically should be functional. Well, and easy to transfer. When you say duplicate oh. at the new base, we probably better plot out where we're going to greenhouse at the new base. Okay, well, Kavak, you and I can probably talk through that and start prepping up some space for Shadow and then have a nice little spot that she can just jump straight into. Because last time we were talking about having an, an exterior, like, farm greenhouse and an interior garden greenhouse. Well, potentially a couple of interior greenhouses because there are some plants that will need different uh, atmospheres. Yeah, yeah, sure, but that's uh, that was the, the main... Just Shadow also requested like an experimental greenhouse yep. for her genetic stuff. Ah, the mad science lab. And I think the mad ice situation practice. got a lot worse. Wait, isn't that how you for get that um, little shop of horrors? Don't tell them my secrets. Come on, Capac. Can someone put the APC back to front again? Again? Is this like a USB? You have to rotate it three times even though it's only got two ways to put it. Yep. Hey! I think it had been put in back to front. We've got power to the logic chips now. Uh, Alright. So Hopefully that means if I press this... Did you hear that? Yep. Might need more volume. No, it's as loud as it can be. Yeah, I already Fairly put it quiet. on max. It is. Now, what are the other alarm options you've got? Uh, Put a screwdriver out and let's play through them and see what was what might work better. Halt. Who goes there? <laughs> okay, that was something. You uh, want storm incoming? Uh, hey, yeah. Storm How that? Incoming. Can anybody hear that other than the two of us? I cannot hear it, and I'm down at the uh, manufacturing stuff. Possibly doesn't help that it's partially inside. What? Do you want to stand at the other side of the room and see if you can hear it? Yep. Storm in. Okay, I can hear it from there. Okay, I'll go outside a little bit. Oh, I only just heard it. Storm in. I couldn't make out what it was. Yeah, I think it being inside is what's making it. Okay, so TV, I think what you need to do to improve this system is make several clacks and speakers outside that are connected mm. up and use a batch writer instead of a logic writer. And then yeah. we can write to Wait. all of the claxons that are connected and have them all play at the same time and hopefully that'll amplify it. Is the effectiveness of the speakers uh, altered Humility. by the atmosphere? I think it is. Uh, oh yeah, it probably is. Because that means it'd be like deafening inside, but hard to hear yeah. outside. Supposedly speakers don't work in an in a vacuum. 
uh, not in a vacuum, but in a thin atmosphere like this, it would work, but it would be, uh, it would lose the sound. Yeah. I'm heading over to the new base. Now I've left TFE with something that actually functions. Oh, it's a weird shadow. What? What did I do this time? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. How big do you reckon we need bedrooms to be? 700 square miles. Kavak, at that point you just make like an underground tube connecting the two bases. <laughs> That like fires you down it so you can travel to the other one at high speed. Oh, like in Futurama. Hey, <laughs> could we do that instead of having our elevator? Uh, I think you're thinking of Satisfactory. <laughs> no, I'm thinking of pneumatic tubes for people. I'm thinking of Futurama. Could we use pressure differentials to push ourselves through tubes to get to places in the base? Uh, can... <sighs> from... What's if the worst that can happen? That, can we... Can we have some, like, backup heart suits? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to do it just as a test now. Maybe we can make a machine that automatically shells us and replaces our suit when we get to the other side. <laughs> shells us. Yep. <laughs> like we're a crustacean. Yep. Oh. Or a walnut. Yep. What just cryonically freezes for the journey and then unfreezes at the other end. <laughs> well, then we might shatter at the other end. That might be great. True. Unless we're put in a cryo tube. What, to have like an air powered tram? <laughs> yeah. It's a pity we can't do that. Oh, TFE, have you used the furnace at all? Um, the furnace? Oh. No. I have not. I've only used the basic one. Would you like to learn how? Um, Probably yeah. not so I can ice. put you to work. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I, I think it's safer for TFE to do the furnace than for me to do that right now. So might as well just teach. What? Is it that? Safe? TFE? That doesn't yeah. sound right. Safer. Less unsafe. Yeah, probably. Still stretching credulity. Um, oh yes, Kapak, the known bastion of safety. Yep. <laughs> I am the official Perfect. health and safety representative of this work site. That explains so many things. <laughs> so, to use this furnace, we have a input valve and an output valve. The input mm -hmm. valve is the bottom one, and please do be careful with how much fuel you put in there, because it All the only fuel. combusts. All the fuel! Uh-oh. But it only combusts when you press a button, or when the temperature inside of the furnace itself is already high enough. Which, in this case, it is. So, if yeah. you want to empty the furnace, we can use the output gauge. Oh, my hydration is critical. One second. <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> okay, how and is this well come along going? as well. Wanna wait? Gasp, I waited for once. <laughs> <laughs> now who's oh, gonna man. press the button? Make sure to keep the camera on the furnace in case you blow it up. Uh, is, there a, <laughs> is there a way to tell how much this, wow. how much power this beacon is using? Three hundred watts. Can't see it anywhere. It's in the stationpedia. Is there a way to see if this battery is charging? Uh, is it in an APC? Yes. The flashing light colors tell you whether it's charging or not. Does that tell you if it is receiving more power than it is draining? Yes. So if it's, it's flashing green and blue, blue and... then it's good? That's good, yeah. Blue and red means it's lit discharging. Okay. But will it be enough to run everything through the night? That is the question. But at least it should keep the beacon running through the day, in case anybody gets lost. Does this gauge pressure and temperature combined, or just one of them? Pressure and temperature. Ah. Also, if you hover over it, you can actually see the more specific temperature yeah. and pressures. That's basically what I was asking, yeah. Does the red zone mean the pressure's too high or the temperature's too high? Well, well pressure. Uh, pressure. You, it's all based on the ideal gas law of PV equals NRT. Ow, my brain. <laughs> I just want to see, I could feel TFE's eyes glaze over. <laughs> Basically, pressure and temperature are very related. closely related. Yeah. 
So, kind of if you know one and you know the volume, if you know the pressure and you know the volume, or if you know the pressure and you know the temperature and things like that. Wait, is that temperatures? Oh, is that in Kelvin? Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah the, the smelting stuff is all in Kelvin. But just be careful with how much fuel you put in there because it will gain pressure really quickly if you put in too much. Uh, so and what do we use you... for fuel? Okay. So Splitzy set up a system here for volatiles and oxygen. I believe pink was the volatiles. Oh, yeah. Okay. So if we need up. to... Yeah. If we need more fuel in this red pipe, which is the combined oxygen and volatiles, we just need to turn this on for a moment and then check the pressure inside. I personally try to not go above 2 megapascals because the higher the pressure is in the fuel input pipe, the faster the fuel will actually go into the furnace as well. Mm. From oh, what I've experienced. I have the battery gone flat on my tablet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Perfect timing. Yeah. Although well, they seem to be on a break now. Yep. Um, so right. I put the I put some vents into the ceiling because I couldn't really figure out where to put these big vents. Yeah, they're chunky. Yeah, I think I think ceiling's good. I could have put them into the back wall, but I figured maybe we want to keep the back wall clear to put like cupboards or something. Yeah, and also because you've got access, easy access to the roof, but not easy access to the back wall with the way I've built this area. And another problem is if I put it like into the side walls, it pokes out at the side. Like I yeah, at the side it yeah. pokes through there. So I think the roof's bad. I think the roof's good. So yeah, that leaves the heaters and the APC, but it's also pretty easy. Yeah, so the APC for this airlock is on is on the inside of the airlock. I think that makes a yeah. lot of sense. So that, that's the only question I had. Where to put the fluid exit? <laughs> part, part of me wants to put it directly above the doorway. But then alternatively, you could just put it on... Like, you could... Depending on how far away you want to tunnel it. But I think... We could just put it above the doorway and we could pass it somewhere else if we wanted to. Uh, but I figure that should be fairly easy to get to. Or you can put it up on the wall. Uh, I suppose there's a frame in here, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, it's all frames. It's all frames. So now you can open the mold by pulling down the handle. Hey. And you've made your first bit of iron. It hasn't exploded. Hey. Now, it looks a lot scarier than off, it is. Or leave it like that. Oh, just leave it. There you go. It wasn't so bad, now was it? I'm not dead. You didn't blow up the base? I didn't. Good. Do you feel like you know how to use a furnace now? Uh, vaguely. <laughs> you feel like you understand how gases operate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Such confidence. Well, Good job, Shadow. Well, Shadow, since you've done, you're done teaching TFE that, uh, do you want to... Feed and drink and stuff, and then the two of us can have a look at where we might put your greenhouse, the new base. Yep. I'm already gathering materials for that as well, which is also why I taught DFE how to use a furnace so I could get some ingots smelted up. Because we've got quite a few frames and stuff built over there, and the, we'll obviously have to dig out quite a sizable cavern. So I thought I'd get started on that boy once we chose a location. Yep. Uh, do you have water pipes over there as well? Uh, water pipes, no. We've got ah. some of the main water ah. trunk line, but... Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of ice. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's everywhere. <laughs> Alright, I'll just come over with you, Shadow. Are you ready to head? Yep. I can barely go through the airlocks over here. They're not even functioning. Yeah, I can't wait till we get those heated airlocks. I was following you, Shadow, not thinking about where I was going. We've gone <laughs> to the wrong mountain. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was 73, but apparently... Uh... No, it's 40. Oh, 40! Oh, okay. Isn't there a what? giant beacon in the middle? Oh. My weld is out of gas. Wait, There's what? an arc welder for yeah. you in one of the lockers. The blind leading the blind. That's our life, isn't it, Capac? Yep. Uh, so, Shadow... This part of the corridor, Capac wanted to leave the ores exposed because there were a few. Um, yeah. So I was thinking we probably don't want to put the greenhouse up front here, but maybe deeper in. 
either off to the right, maybe off to the right here, because. Uh, what is going to be above here? Uh, more floors potentially. Um, like I think the living most spaces will be up there. Most expansion otherwise should probably go ah, downstairs. Yeah. Like the gas storage stuff will all be below us. Well, the farm's yeah. probably going to be pretty big, so we want to keep that on the ground level or below. Yeah, I was thinking Shadow can go ground level for the main food farming, and then any research farming can go down below. But I was the figuring she'd want like a greenhouse complex. The main floor should probably also have like the construction area, right? Yeah, yeah, all the production buildings. So I was thinking, Nev, are you still around? Was that you yeah. at the end of the corridor? Yeah, yeah. If, if you come to where Shadow and I are, just down the corridor, see if you think this is somewhat sensible. Um, given the shape of the mountain, I was thinking Shadow could go and build, like we could build the greenhouse in off this side. So it would have an entry on this section of the corridor as well. So it could have two entrances. Or that could be the production room. And then we could put the greenhouse off this side. Uh, where is the resource storage area going to be? Um, well, probably in the production region. Like, with near the production stuff it makes some sense, at least at the moment, until it's able to be shooted uh, around, and then it could it? go below. Do we do anything with the, with the stuff at the front here before the all windows? Um, yeah, probably. Like, that could be the storage area if you want. Just depends how big the space it needs to be. Like, I've started putting batteries down below on this side. Like, there's a battery room down there, so we could have more power generation. Like, you could have your Sterling engines in there and stuff like that. Yeah, the battery room is actually here. Uh, is it? It's a bit, yeah, it's a bit, uh, it's All a right, bit yeah, disorienting I... because we have this big lobby area at the front. Yeah, I think I deliberately so put it off there because I was like, well, I'm not going to use anything straight off the lobby. So I thought I'd put the battery there so it would be There's plenty of blocks from here until the, until the ore window. So were you, what were you thinking? Production and storage off either side of this bit? Uh, yeah, sure. If you want okay. to keep the ore windows and we need more space, we can also just go deeper in and then leave the voxels for the ores and just build behind them. <laughs> Yeah, true. True, true. I was also thinking you could do, like, depending on how far the ores go back, you could have windows in the side of the production room that look into it from that side as well. Yeah, sure. Um, just for something... Just for that variance. Well, in that case, Shadow, I reckon we should build your greenhouse over here so that it can connect up to the other bit of the hallway near the elevator as well. Because that way, um, if people do end up building their rooms upstairs like I'm thinking they will, it'll put your greenhouse close to the elevator. Yeah, sounds good. If we were smarter about this, we wouldn't have all of our walls being made up of steel stuff. We'd be making our walls out of rock. That's lame. But, but we are not smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somehow I don't trust the airtight voxels. <laughs> It's just because of playing space engineers. Maybe. If we close down the elevator side, we could at least start pulling a vacuum in here so you can just drop the oxygen on the ground and it will start building up slowly. Yeah. Although you have to be careful not to drop any other ices. Like yeah, and there are a lot of different gases being mined in here. And then we probably want to mine out much like we probably want to do a lot of the excavation before we start trying to pressurize or at least carefully pressurize because otherwise we're going to need the filtration system first i guess what mm -hmm. did you make cfd hmm? an appendage to the ball court yeah well, i'm trying to figure ball out is what is appendages <laughs> i'm trying to think of a way to put a klaxon more in the center of the base well, I, can't well, I think you need to stack klaxons, TFA. I think you need multiple. Mm. Mm. What I can't figure out is why the logic reader doesn't seem to be convinced it's connected to the weather station. Despite the fact the network okay. analyzer yeah. says it is. Hey, wait a sec. Really? Oh, um... Duh, there's a gap there. <laughs> um... 
Wait. Did I remove that at some point, or was it... Those are some very concerned shadow noises. What's going on? Okay. Is it connected now? He... He forgot to place a wire. Ah, okay. But it sounded like you were nope. more concerned nope. than just him missing something. I know, it is connected to it now. Has he broken something else that's going on up there? Not that I know of right now. Okay. Are you working on airlocking the end of that corridor, Kamek? Or are you just working on digging out the corridor so we know what we've got? Yeah, still just digging. So much digging to do. Whose idea was it to build underground anyway? It was yours! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Splitty known for not entirely loving building underground. Oh man, these airlocks are so full of junk. The new ones, yeah. They're really big ice traps. Yeah. I feel like we might have done something and we've uh, dropped the global temperature. <laughs> Rather than lifting it. Ah, why does the ice keep getting blown around in circles? It's all sublimating at the moment, is it? Uh, well, they, the, the dry ice does it at a different time than the other stuff. Yeah. So all the dry ice goes and then all the rest of it goes. Have we just got a row of empty nuclear batteries in this cupboard? Uh, didn't Shadow make a whole lot last time? Uh, yeah. We probably haven't had like enough energy to charge them. Oh, they're, they're in put, a locker. You should put a battery charger yeah. at the new base and charge them there. Well, there's a, yeah, there's yeah. a couple of small batteries in these chargers if you want to swap them out for the nuclear ones. Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, but this, this base already has a bit power issues. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. fine. Be fine. Ooh, french fries. Nice. Oh, I want a french fries. What the? Oh. What's wrong? I heard a honking noise. Yeah, hang on. I think so. I mean, it oh? worked? Jeez, I'm feeling like I'm eating everybody's leftovers. I've just gone through three potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had that. I was getting like that of... four. Wait. I'm just checking spills at things again. I was gonna say, could Spitzy yeah. hear that from where he was? Nope. I, ah. genuine, genuinely, TFA, I think you're gonna have to mm. try it with multiple to see if that boosts it. Yeah. Was it max volume already? Yep. It is, yeah. Huh. I think all I've done today is lay down a bunch of stuff where I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> because we probably needed those resources for other things. Uh, and dismantle things. And Doug. And you talked a lot. That's normal. Was it a lot? Or was it just normal? Wow. Kapak accuses me of talking a lot, and then everyone just goes silent. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to be the next Splitzy. Oh, Kapaki Beacon just turned off. Yeah, sounds about... Whoa! Oh, I still What's see it. What? What just happened? I just dug in the ground and then suddenly I was blasted up into the air. <laughs> and now there's crazy air currents going everywhere. Oh, did you open into a, like a vacuum spot? Like a... No. I just dug a little hole in the ground. No. Yeah. Oh, am I going to get frames as floor as well? Or do I need to make do with just walls? Uh, I would probably use the wall. It's, no. uh, if you want to match it to what's out here, you, it's flat wall. Um, I'll go grab some, I'll show you. Uh, I, I do have flat wall, I did see which one, but the thing is more, I don't know if I need heavy support for some things. Um, so <laughs> you definitely don't maybe? need it for the hydroponic units, because they can be floating. Oh, wait. The power bench can also just float. But what I would probably do is do wall at the front, and if you need any supported stuff, put them towards the outer sides, just so that you've got free space underneath to build more greenhouses below and stuff like that. Yeah. That would be my thinking. <laughs> I love that you brought your skull with you. <clears throat> Where right. shadow goes, the skull goes. <laughs> oh... I didn't notice my air tank getting low as so I was leaving the other base. <laughs> Man, I should really keep an eye on my oxygen tank. I'm gonna have to rush back soon. Or I'm gonna be dead. 
I don't want Shadow to have my skill. But I do want me to have your skill. Quick! I know you do. Let's make some energy pistols. That'll solve the problem. <laughs> energy pistols don't solve any problems. Well... They solve the lack of skills. Unless I'm the one holding them and you're the problem. I mean, they have a stun setting. It wouldn't necessarily kill you. If you want to extract a skull... <laughs> <laughs> We're in the future, I'm sure you don't need Thank to. Thank you, Nev. <laughs> it's funny, because uh, we do actually have the stuff for the energy pistol. <laughs> no energy pistols. Fine. Alright, Nev, there is a pair of doors at the end of the corridor now. Yeah, very good. So as long as Kapak and I haven't accidentally uh, evacuated the space, uh, we have a potentially sealed volume. So please nobody be silly enough to actually... Um, Open up the manual airlock at the end of this corridor <laughs> once we start pressurizing the space. Um, you could use one of those hatch doors. You can actually weld them shut. Yeah, I, I just uh, have the regular door kit. I think they're a different door kit. I, I'll uh -huh. fix it. All right, you've got one of them at the other base, don't you? Oh. Oh. I like this shadow. This looks nice. What? For the two wide corridor, the floor you've put in. Yeah, I saw it and I was like, "Ooh." Because it, it kind work. of it kind of continues the three wide motif, but at a narrower gauge. I like it. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna rush back home because I currently have 301 kilopascals of air left. <laughs> You'll be it. okay. 296, 95, 94, 93. Uh-oh. I have cut this a little too fine, I think. I have four HUD warnings. <laughs> the goal is not to collect them all. <laughs> sure it is. Okay. I guess if we can get Shadow into a new greenhouse, then we might be able to start looking into what's needed to get pills. I have solved the manual airlock problem. What have you done? Now everyone will know not to open it. But you, you put, put a, a giant... sign up. Oh, uh, something like that. Did you put a double negative on it? No. Okay. How go the Klaxon experiments, DFA? Um, I kind of finished with that. I was looking at how um Black Shadow's greenhouse outputs oxygen. Into the atmosphere, because uh -huh. I was thinking about if you could have sort of like um, almost like prefab little buildings for outputting oxygen. Oh, like little plants modules. Sort of. It'd basically be I'm trying to think of how to describe them, but basically like a little thing that's mainly decorative, but it also um, releases the oxygen into the atmosphere. So start dotting them around the place and slowly mm. letting them automatically produce oxygen. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking at actually using a passive vent by the looks of it. Ah uh, output, yeah. Okay, that's two less HUD warnings. And now we're back to the standard one. Because my lungs got injured. Isn't everyone's lungs injured at this point pretty much? <laughs> yeah, is anyone un uninjured? Uh I don't have a warning but I do have the constant health bar up. Yeah, the constant health bar, I think, is a bug. The warning, I think, is a legit thing. And I'm healthy. Figures. <laughs> what is person, that supposed to mean? The person carrying the skulls is somehow the one that's well. Or the most well amongst us. It's disturbing. On many levels. What you nearly said is also very disturbing. <laughs> Amogus. No! <laughs> He said it run away! I do like your idea of like mini um, self contained low energy terraformers, TFA. Hmm. Plus, it means you can experiment with designs of things that you can just. Because really, it does need to be an automated thing that. Well, a thing that you can just leave running all the time yeah. and figure out which plants are going to put out the most O2. Is it worth. Upgrading any of these or not really because we're going to be moving they to are the other base. All of them. They are? You sure? They're all tier 2. If you've got an LCD on them that you can see pictures of stuff, then they're upgraded. Damn. I upgraded them all ages ago. 
Have we warmed this base up somehow? Um, uh, probably by closing it off and doing stuff in it. Well, it's not yeah. quite closed off, but... Uh, Carbon well, dioxide somewhat. ice is uh, evaporating faster than I can pick it up. Isn't that good? Well, we've got, we've got batteries in here, we've now got lights in here, we've got all of us in here doing stuff. We would be generating some degree of heat in here, and with the other end closed off, I think it's made it take long enough for the heat to get out that we probably oh. could. Uh, wow. Be Hold warming on. it. Um, down here near the farm? Yeah. It's two degrees. Oh, yeah. It gets heaps warmer as we get in. I'm very close no, to like having the adults done. Six even. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's impressive. We just need to make sure we close it off during the day or something oh. so we don't have the cold night air. <laughs> uh, can somebody or speed me? Well, it's open hydration. at the moment and it's seven oh. degrees back here. That's we pretty... Can hydrate good. each other, Shadow. I think the airlock is finished construction. I'll just need to oh, see yeah? if everything works and name the devices, I guess. You, Pooper. What'd I do? You fed me. Yeah? What's wrong okay. with that? This door isn't mm. powered. Why not? I thought I was doing something nice. <laughs> you thought you were doing We're something speeding. nice by smashing a baked <laughs> potato through the vents of somebody else's spacesuit. No, it was a <laughs> tin of tomato soup. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're going to accuse me of things and get it better. right. Are we ready to start pressurizing yet? Uh... Shortly. Oh no! Kavak! I need your dirt. <laughs> well. Uh... <laughs> the timing of that happening as you ask if we're ready to pressurize is, um... Not lost on me. <laughs> um... Do we... Do we know how we're doing the central, like, power supply conduit yet? No. Uh, Along the side walls, there'll just be heavy cables of the yeah, corridor underneath. Yeah, there's a battery room in front. That's where everything should start. And uh, then we draw heavy cables to individual rooms, and at the entrance yeah. to a room, there would be a transformer. Yeah, so my idea was that we would have uh, the heavy cable running along possibly even the, the floor of the maintenance corridor, and then we can run off from there. If floor, walls, doesn't really matter. Yeah, because we only need one... Theoretically, we should only need one heavy cable running the length of the base. Until such a point where we exceed its capacity. Yeah, and hopefully it we don't reach that point too soon. It's like 100 kilowatts? 100 megawatts? It's something. It's, something like it's that. It's a lot. Oh, normal cables are like 5 megawatts, right? So that one would be 100. 5 kilowatts. Right. They are a normal cable. Uh, Dirt delivery. Oh yeah, it's just kilowatts. Yeah. Where are you, Kamak? I'm in the corridor. Come down here. Back here, back here, back here, back here. Uh, double checking if my airlock is done. May I borrow the dirt thingy? No. Okay then, come outside with me then. Only I made dirt. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. This is the hole I accidentally made. Oh. I forgot to put in. So if you yes, can figure out awesome. how to make a little bit of extra dirt outside here that looks neat. Please do. Done. Uh, let me just go check if that's given me the space inside or whether I'm... Oh, did you just... accidentally make a hole? I did, yes. Oh, where is that close? Oh. Yeah, in the giant room that he's... What is this room supposed to be? Production. This will be where all our, our... You know, the various things that assemble things are put. With the heavy power cable, can you just tap a light power cable off it to power things? Um, no, you, you put could, a heavy you cable off it. it. <laughs> yeah, you put a heavy cable off it and then into a transformer. And then that transformer goes into the rooms. Let's see. What you doing over here, TFE? Hmm? I presume this mushroom and the bowl are your constructions? Yeah. What you doing? 
I'm just thinking of how, um, like I was talking before about like, build things that release oxygen in the atmosphere, basically what I, what they could look like. Ah, aren't you planning on making these, like, I thought you were making mini greenhouses. Oh, hang on, are we thinking of different things? I was thinking more taking the results from the greenhouse and pumping them into the atmosphere. So rather than just, like, you know, Blasher has just got a passive vent on the roof. Yeah. I was thinking something a bit more stylized. Oh, right. Well, I think, I think the, yeah, sure. <laughs> Obviously the main thing that we need to do is clean up the atmosphere less so than, because we need to add more CO2 to the atmosphere to try and use it as a greenhouse gas mm. to warm this place up. But... Yeah, the main okay. thing is get the NOS and uh, pollutant out. I guess you could apply it in reverse, pull stuff in. Yeah. Not, not with uh, a passive oh, yeah, vent, actually, maybe, maybe you, this is, are you designing what could be our collection towers? Hmm. So, from a functional perspective, uh, with the large vents, it's really just having a few of those around would probably be enough. Dev's already seen how quickly they vacuum out, vacuum out space. I haven't actually witnessed them in use. What did we have? Because we didn't have them in this airlock. Did we? No, we didn't. No. I didn't convert it, I just tested it locally. No. Uh, okay. How large the airlock is, is sort large of vent. done if you're back at some point. I will be back very shortly. I haven't tried it yet, so face uh, <laughs> yourself. <laughs> I am interested you want, to observe. You wanted to see the first time. <laughs> I do, yeah. I'm just getting a couple more steel frames then I'll be on my way. Alright. Let's, um, do we need to Oh, okay, so it is closed. That one. So this one's ready for us to go in. Yeah, this, this one's one, ready to come out. This one is, is set. This one is not an airlock yet. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. I guess I'll press a button. Oh, we've got a diode. Oh, I can turn my lights off. There's plenty of light here. Ooh, blue. blue. Blue is good. Oh, I guess I have very much delay. <laughs> Okay, now here's the interesting bit. Will all this ice get heated up and cleared? Oh, it's night time. That explains the delay. Temperature 60, 59, oh, 58. going to take quite a while. Maybe we need to put more. <laughs> yeah. What's Pressure in here is up to 55, 6 kilopascals, 77. What is the t t pressure in here going to be once these have melted? Um, I hope I put enough pipe tanks. Um, the other thing is, should we be evacuating this at the same time we're heating it? Um, I figured well, more gas heats past so much maybe, ice in that well, maybe it'll not. heat slower because there's capacitance. Yeah, like you've got to heat each molecule. It's not so actually. Is it still heating up for you? Because it's somehow stuck for me. Very slowly. It's up to 50 huh. degrees, minus 50, minus 49. I guess we should evacuate it while it's heating. Yeah, definitely. Okay, we will be in here for a while. Because <laughs> <laughs> the other advantage of having it almost vacuum is that some of the... You don't need as high a temperature for the ice to sublimate. Because there's less pressure keeping it as an ice. So I think we've got... I think the station Stationpedia has um, curves for this stuff. Yeah, but the ice is just like a hard barrier on temperature in the station Stationpedia. I'm not sure it cares about pressure. Uh... Uh-oh. Uh, I'm gonna need air pretty soon. You can use the other door. The other door is not an airlock. You need to get out. But you still need to go back to the old base for air. Yeah, it is just a hard barrier. At, um... 6.3 kilopascals. The one we're stuck in, that's currently an airlock. The other one is just manual doors. Seems kind of pointless, but sure. It's Why? still in construction. <laughs> you're just it's testing rude. this one. Uh, what temperature do we need for this nitrous to sublimate? Mm, I think, I think it's, it's like negative 20 250 or something. 253 Kelvin? 253 Kelvin? Which is minus... I think the script is set to... 258 Kelvin. That's like minus 25 or something. Yep. Yeah, minus 15. Yep. Minus 15. Because, yeah, it's like minus 20 something. It's minus 20. Because 273 is zero. 
And in my wisdom, I also locked these vents so I can't actually turn it on. <laughs> well, at least at least you're not stuck in here on your own, I guess. Yeah, you can play tic-tac-toe. Well, we can play throw the ice ball. Dunk. The only thing I can do is turn off the light. <laughs> that's the only thing that's not locked. <laughs> I figured I'd better lock all the controls before some smartass comes out and clicks the buttons <laughs> on the event and complains that the airlock isn't working. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I think you made the right call locking things so that they're not interactable, but we probably want a lot more heaters and you probably want to have the vents evacuating before the heaters turn on. I suppose I will just test with the two heaters and the evacuation and see if that's already enough and yep. otherwise I will put more heaters, yeah. Yeah, because I, I thought we had it originally planned to be heaters turn on, vents evacuate, check for temperature first. Although, can we exclude yeah. if it gets to zero? Yeah, that's the problem. If you actually pull a vacuum and there's still ice in here, you yeah. won't have a temperature. That's why I didn't do it that way. Yeah. Could, could we have a, an initial loop that doesn't pull a vacuum that just pulls down to say like one kilopascal or five kilopascals or something and probably yeah, a whole lot of extra code to maybe deal with. I'll, I'll have to i'll have to test have a think some about stuff it. yeah yeah i mean alternatively just blast it with a whole lot of heaters or oh, minus 21 almost there here we go oh. what the 129 kilopascals what? Why is, there an, oh. why is there an elevator here? Wait, why is there an elevator? Like, wedged in the side of the... Who put this here? Uh, and when I approach it, my screen fills with oh, null reference yeah. exception object reference not yeah. set. Who built a broken elevator? I think I did. <laughs> yeah. I can it only imagine this is the one that I just built over okay. at the base. Oh, At least the platform for it. So what if I disassemble it? Can you? You're almost there. <laughs> yep. Stupid heating process. I'll take that. Oh. It was so nice and fast okay. on my test setup, but it was like only 10 kPa or something. Yeah, yeah. This, there was a the lot of ice in here. We got. Hmm. Oh, 15. Come on. Hello. Oh. Oh. Pressure's going down. Hopefully the tank doesn't explode. Hooray! Ooh. It works. It's slow, <laughs> it's... but it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got some water vapor in here. Oh yeah, it's probably... All the ice is probably falling out of the outlet on the, on the outside. Uh, nothing's exploded up here. That's good. Yep. Oh, it looks so neat and tidy. I love it. Okay, so there's 5.43 oh. megapascals in one of these, and nothing to, in the other one. Yeah, the the other one is supposed to be empty, of course, because yeah. that's... Oh, all the all the nitrous actually got out of the uh, liquid port, I guess. Yep. That was the vapor we just saw. Oh, right. Okay. Shadow, are you still down at your greenhouse excavation site? You mind forcing some water into my helmet? If you could do the same for me, sure. Yep, I'm right behind you. Well, I'm trying to set up a power supply for the elevator, but I just want to make sure I'm setting up this transformer properly. Are you over here yet? Yeah, I'm down in the service yes, yes. corridor. Okay. Alright, so where's the power access for your elevator? So, I've got all the power wired up around the back here. And it's going into this transformer on the wall. Okay, uh, I would suggest that's a bad place to put it and bring it out to the corridor here, since this is a service corridor. Oh. That's where the service is going to run, because this room's for batteries. This, these walls are going to have more batteries, so having it there is going to make it really difficult to access. So it should be coming out into the corridor and have the transformer in the cor on the wall. It really doesn't matter that much. It does! It makes just as much sense to have it in a room with all the batteries. No, no, because I've got to do a lot more cabling around the batteries that uses those walls at the back. 
So if you bring the transformer around there, it makes it a lot harder to fit everything in here. If you bring it outside, we can just run it off the cable that's intended to supply power to items around the base. That's what it was built for. Blech. So... But then I'll have to run the cable through the wall. Well, no, you just take... You take out this... Like, you turn this into a little corridor. Instead of having a giant hole in the back of the battery room. Actually, alternative... Actually, cap back. You can probably put it on this wall here if you want. Because then you'd just be branching off from the mains line anyway. The idea was to avoid having any room be set up differently. So that then if we have problems, we can figure them out. Because everything should be running the same sort of style. Um, you need to put a transformer in the middle of this and get rid of the extra bits you just did. What? I know what I'm doing. Right here. No, you don't. Because you're not doing it right. There's going to be a door there. There's going to be a Doors door can't have there. cables in them. You can't have cables in you. That's where you should put the transformer. Transform you. <laughs> Why are you so cranky? Think you're Captain Electricity now. Well, I mean, I did set the place up. And then you do heavy cable from this nearest bit. No, it has to be heavy on that side. No. I can yes. make whatever cable I want. You can, but then your elevator will die very quickly because it will run out of... Well, it will burn out the cable. Good. Maybe that's what I want. I'm glad you two are getting along nicely. <laughs> it's pretty much par for the course with us. How many years have we been friends now, Cafe? Hmm. At least three. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> that's annoying. Uh... I turned it on and it didn't explode, so that seems like a good sign. Have you supplied some power through the transformer yet? They're turning the dial up. Oh, right. Uh, how can I tell how much a device uses? Stationpedia? Mm. Jeez, the airlock to Black Shadow's Whoa. greenhouse just flung all the ice out, it was so full. <laughs> yeah, we're getting some ice flinging over here too. Yeah. Pretty intense. Jeez. I don't know if I'm safe to go through that hole. <laughs> doorway. How's it going in there, Nev? Oh, I set it up to pull some pressure out of here. Yeah? It's like at 7 kPa now. It's definitely heating up faster. You might That's still good. want to put in like one or two more. Maybe it's a big wall. Yeah. Double up the number of heaters. Oh, yeah. You can see the liquid coming out outside. Maintenance elevator is functional. Nice. And just uh, despite him, I'm taking the, the, the ladder back up. Shadow's going the um, white padded wall look. Yeah, I was just thinking about what, what we might want to do for the actual walls. I mean, it's currently just a blank canvas like I had for the floor and then I decided to do it like this. Oh, right. You're just doing that and then you might change it later sort of thing. Yeah, just so I can focus on the things that have a little bit of detail as well. Oh, I think I see what you're doing with this bit of the greenhouse. You're having the middle one sort of stepped up so it's raised above the other bits. Yeah, and what I want to try to do is have those tables underneath so it doesn't look like it's floating, but uh, so you can see my problem. The trick I've done to make it not look like I've, it's floating is use the pipes to look like supports. Yeah, could do as well. Because if you make this sure the pipe goes to the floor, then the pipe looks like it gives support. Because then you don't really need to fiddle around with anything else, because you already need the pipes coming in, and you just use the same pipes to... So, like, you have a T-piece in the middle that goes down, and then you have a corner bit down the end here that goes down. Because the pipes look pretty robust, so they look like they should be able to support this on them. Especially because you've left the gap in the middle. I think you're going to be busy in there for quite some time. <laughs> I think so, too. Although I'm currently mostly waiting on the pressurization. Before I can start moving my plants. Yeah. Could you airlock your space separately? Uh, yeah, I can. Alright. TFV, what are you up to? Um, still trying to figure out how this will work. Your Paxson? Oh, no, not the Paxson. The, um. You moved on from the Paxson. Yeah, I've moved on from the Paxson. Where are you? I'm in the new base underneath the future ah. production room. Just thinking if I want to pull stuff out of the atmosphere, I need an active vent, I need filtration, so I'm not pulling in absolutely everything. 
So what are you trying to pull in? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Um, Wouldn't you just use the filters in the height filtration thing itself? Looking at that tower, Black Show's done it. Yeah, uh, what I mean is, um, are you looking to pull in the pollutant? Are you looking to pull in the nitrous? Uh, how much of a difference would that make? Uh, in terms of how you store it, a lot. Ah, I'm not really worrying about the storage yet. I'm worrying about the actual pulling it in bit. Okay. Yeah, because the storage um, will vary considerably depending on what you're pulling in. Yeah. Theoretically, with the way I'm doing this, the top bit should be the same for all of them. Like, the actual storage and everything else would be separate. This is basically just the bit that pokes out above the surface and looks vaguely cool. <laughs> right. Uh, yes, Shadow. Which door is usable right now? Right hand side, coming from the inside. And also your this one. Might just lock you in and. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, I Why do I get the feeling that that's what the like the tone of voice and everything matches up perfectly to Hansel and Gretel? <laughs> Well, the, the airlock actually works perfectly as long as it's daytime. Oh, well, that's what you want. A door that only works during the day. Oh, and for, for going outside, it always works perfectly. I'll have to oh, retest like when, the, when it's full of ice again. <laughs> Alright, come on, Kapak. Jam some water in your face. There you go. Oh boy, I'm so refreshed. Ow, ow, ow. Do you need more? <laughs> Just... <laughs> Uh, I'm good. Going up the ladder is not fun when there's ice forming above you. No, it's a bit of a challenge. So, Nev, did the thing just work properly? Uh, even with yeah, ice in it? I'm not, it, it wasn't really full of ice. I wanted to leave a, okay. a cycle to the outside so it would accumulate more for testing. But, yep. yeah, there was a bit of it in it and it worked with 4 TV, so... Hmm. I did increase the limit, so it shuts off at 15 already, so maybe that helps. We will see. Alright. And I will put in, like, one or two more heaters as well next time. And then hook up the second one, then it's finally done. And then this place is um, able to be pressurized and we can start setting up the atmospherics for it. Which is cool. It actually took forever just to build the airlocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, I, I was really impressed when I went up in the crawl space and saw how neatly everything was done so i can see how long it took to put it together i'm looking forward to seeing um plants growing in here and my plan going forward is to move all the production stuff over here and then start putting lights down this main corridor so that we've actually not needing our suit lights all the time be interested to see how tfe's uh mini terraformer plans come along and Genuinely interested, TFE, for you to test out some capture and storage mm. to see uh, if explodes? you can figure out a way to do it without it exploding. And yeah. Those will be good tests to perform outside the base. <laughs> yeah. So if you if you get to the point of doing some of those tests, please let me know, because I'd love to mm. watch. Oh, it's super duper cold in here again. And I'm sure Capac will continue to put random elevators around the place that are actually occasionally useful. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody. Bye. See ya. Have a good one.